syllables. Fans are the kind who don't give a hell for commercial pop charts or even television programs like this one. They came to see Discharge. Discharge is a hardcore band that hails from the Midlands of England. The kinds of stories one hears about that part of the country are really rough, like rough bars and rough fans and brutalised, you know, everything. Is that really the way it is? If you go out looking for trouble and you go to places where you're going to get trouble, you're going to get trouble, right? But, like, our music yeah, might, might sound violent and all that, but the people, you find that the people that go there are very peaceful, you know, they're not into violence for that. Okay, well, the people who are in the crowd tonight, I'm sure, maybe not typical of where you come from. Uh, well, the last, the last gig we did at the 100 Club, uh, to, uh, this is an example of what happens, a kid got both his legs broke at the front. But it's, like, all done in good fun. I mean, Ka Calvin went it, um, he went, uh, it's about two foot off the stage and he wasn't actually standing on the floor, he was on people. To the, to the average person, that if it's like uh, someone going down and doesn't know anything about it, they'd be horrified. Oh, wow, I mean, it's too much, but it's just nothing really. Uh, what are you writing about lyrically? I mean, what, I, can't, I can't understand anything that's going on out there. <laughs> it's oppression and things like that. Social and what's, you know, what is happening and we're just putting people in the picture. People that don't really, don't really know or understand. We're trying to make it a bit clearer. Just, you know. <laughs> Get, ask him that question. Calvin, can you give us a, a few words? Uh, we see ourselves as a band making a stand against what we feel is wrong with society today. Uh, it's just what we do in the lyrics, or what I write in the lyrics, I say is just enlightening people as to what could really happen, concerning the threat of nuclear war. I don't think that anybody would disagree that nuclear war is a pretty lousy thing, you know? Like, it's been a big topic recently because there was this show on the TV you may have heard about called The Day yeah, After, the day after you know, yeah. and all that. So everybody's thinking about it and everybody's attuned to some of the finer details of the subject. So maybe, you, you know, this might be a good opportunity for you to be more specific. Basically, stop the arms race because even though the weapons themselves may never ever be used, they still kill. I don't know what the situation is over in Canada and America, but back in England, people are there moaning about the tax on this and that and that. And they don't realize that the taxes which they do pay goes contribute to the nuclear arms race. Yeah? Yeah. And people in the third world are dying. Even though the weapons themselves may never be used, people still get killed.
1986, when the English punk scene was in its heyday, the vibrant...